Good to see all of you here. Um, some of you might know me, some, some may not, so I just a uh, brief introduction. Um, I'm a member of parliament, uh, elected member of parliament, and, and, and I used to work in uh, four different government ministries as a minister of state. Um, uh, in Singapore, we call that political office holder. So uh, I just left the, the government to set up my ventures. And uh, before I entered politics, I already had business experience about 15 years uh, running different companies, uh, multinational companies, and I have also listed one company before together with my partner. So uh, that was 15 years before politics, and when I worked for the government, it was a good uh, 11 years as a full-time political office holder. And recently, last year, middle of last year, I... I left the ministry to set up my own different ventures, which today totals to about seven of them. Um, I'm also chairing two public listed boards of uh, companies that are listed in Singapore and two other boards overseas. Uh, so uh, business is right in my blood, um, technology as well. I was just sharing with a friend of mine, I said, um, in fact, uh, this, this topic, I should get my wife to come here. My wife is a real techie. Uh, my son too, um, who is, uh, my son is about 19 years old, and so they're both real techy and they know all about this better than I do. Uh, but the business-wise, uh, I believe that uh, several of my ventures actually benefited from uh, cloud sourcing and open sourcing of uh, projects and uh, also source codes and technologies out there. We have benefited from there. Uh, out of seven, three are already profitable. So uh, I'm very glad that um, some of those technologies that I had was because we were able to um, identify talents as well as technology uh, through the open platform. And I think uh, it goes without saying, and I don't have to tell you what open source software or technology that will bring benefits to the economy, especially in a small economy like Singapore. We're trying to be a tech hub, innovation hub, and uh, there's a lot of new thinking that we need. Um, a venture builder like myself or entrepreneur like myself, I'm always looking out for the best ideas and also the best uh, innovation out there. Uh, since this product is more tech and how such tech could transform companies. I bought two old companies, I transformed them through technology and I tried to digitize many of the things they do. Um, but there's limitation to what I could do within Singapore. So what happens is that I sourced out into China and uh, Thailand, Vietnam, and surprisingly, Vietnam gave me the solution. So, so, so some of this experience that I had, I realized that actually a, um, an event like that should be strongly encouraged. And I was uh, quite surprised in some way that he has been so many years and and I'm actually quite new to this, but I'm glad that I'm plugged in now together with the rest. Uh, I'm curious to know that, uh, that this event actually would be able to see certain deliverables that actually helps us in our community. Um, one of the projects that I used to do in the government, which in um, uh, that ministry is Ministry of Trade Industry. When I was in the Ministry of Trade Industry for a good five years, uh, I developed uh, or helped develop together with uh, Jurong Town Corporation, which uh, is overseeing all the industrial estate, the launch pad in Ayer Raja or Block 71. And uh, when, when I visualized that, that was to create an ecosystem for innovation and uh, entrepreneurship. And that has developed into a sort of a tech innovation hub. And there are so many, many of the communities there and uh, little cell groups uh, sharing among themselves what they need to do and some from open source to become proprietary, <laughs> which I thought, uh, well, that is the, generally if you go to market, then maybe when it's investment and uh, ventures coming in, investments coming in, then suddenly from open to proprietary. And uh, how do you actually keep it still open and how do you continue to be able to share? We built that ecosystem of Block 71 and Launchpad uh, till today. It's uh, expanded into uh, San Francisco, Jakarta, Suzhou in China. Uh, thanks to several of the accelerators and incubators around there. But Singapore still has still have a long way to go. We need to plug into the international network in order to make this whole network to be really successful. 
So uh, it's not just the technical part, but it's really the whole uh, business part and how do we keep it sustainable. I think giving back to the community is one, but the community would have to translate that into the economy itself. And I believe that um, the whole venture capital, uh, the whole funding, and the whole ecosystem will have to kick in to make an open source platform truly, truly beneficial to the economy. Um, and I stand to benefit from this as well as a venture builder. And I also look forward to plugging with everyone. I was uh, looking at the pictures and all that and seeing so many of you. I say there's loads of talents out there. I'm today a dearth of talent in the venture. As you know, Singapore is tight on labor. Uh, but we have lots of talents, you just can't find enough. And today, looking at some of our ventures, is multinational, it's a United Nation. Um, I have AI experts from, um, AI experts from uh, Taiwan. I have also from China. I have in Singapore too. Um, but I would say the majority uh, that come in uh, into my ventures are from overseas. And most of the time, I plug them back into the region uh, to actually be closer to the market. Uh, out of my seven, uh, four of them are consumer focus. So consumer product, consumer services, consumer focus. And the other three are actually business focus, corporation focus. So uh, there are many things that uh, I would say that we follow the business. We follow where the market is. So uh, for me, uh, as far as the way I see the whole region growing and how businesses grow and with technology like this and with platforms like this is that um, I believe that when we can get ourselves connected effectively throughout the region, then we'll be the most effective Then the ecosystem can build. So hopefully you'll be successful in having this event and keep it sustainable and then year on year we'll be able to see better results and more results and more quantifiable uh, deliverables that can come out of this event, uh, especially for all the talents that we have out there. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a successful session. Thank you very much.